welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jesse, and this is my friend Kimosabi, the prehensile tail porcupine. Kimosabi hasn't been getting out to travel much lately due to the pandemic, so we've been finding ways to keep him from getting bored. Now, we know what his favorite treats, toys, and enrichment activities are, but I'd like to try something a little different. What if I introduced him to a bunch of new things that were definitely not made with porcupines in mind and see what he thinks about them? Kimosabi is a 12-year-old captive-born porcupine that was displaced from a private zoo in 2010 and came to live at Animal Wonders in order to be an ambassador for his species through public presentations. He's a really special guy, and not just because he's nestled into the hearts of millions of people, but also because he's powered through some tough medical issues over the years. Now, Kimosabi is considered a nocturnal species, so he would normally be up in his tree sleeping and only waking up for bathroom breaks or if another animal disturbed him. He's not as active during the day as he would be at night, but he still does enjoy getting out, especially if his favorite treats are involved. I'm actually really lucky here because I get to spend lots of time with him at night and he just has a really fun personality. He isn't affectionate or cuddly, but he does form trust bonds with his human keepers and when you earn his trust, it feels pretty awesome. He's also very opinionated, and once he's made his mind up about something, <laughs> he rarely changes it. Which is why I thought it'd be fun to have Kimosabi judge some common and not so common household items. Since Kimo can't talk, we'll score his enthusiasm for an item by how much he interacts with it. So the item will get zero points for totally ignoring it, one point for smelling but not touching, two points for touching it with his hand, three points for licking it, cause Kimosabi is a licker, and four points for touching it with two hands or climbing on it. All right? Let's get to it. Round one. First up is going to be a warm up round, and it's something that most households with pets have a vacuum. Let's see what Kimosabi thinks of it. So the vacuum gets one point because Kimosabi just smelled it, but he didn't touch it at all. Round two. Next up, let's try two things at the same time and see which one he investigates first. We have a regular chair and a broom. This broom is used to sweep the mammal room, which Kimosabi has spent plenty of time exploring. So I wonder if it'll just smell normal and he won't care about it. But he's never experienced a chair like this before. I wonder if he'll climb it. He went right to that broom and he smelled it and then he touched it with one hand. So that broom gets two points. interested in the chair at first, but on a second pass, he definitely smelled it and then touched it with one hand. So that gives the chair two points. On to round three. We have a pair of shoes and a trophy. Both of these came from my house. Those are my shoes. And that trophy probably has a lot of interesting smells on it since it's a 40 year old traveling trophy. I wonder how he'll judge them. Wow, he was really not interested in those shoes at all. So he didn't even smell them. They get zero points. That trophy definitely had his interest. He not only licked it, but he also touched it with two hands. So it gets four points. Round four, Kimosabi is doing great. 
But now it's time for a snack break and special judgment round. But first, check out these extra special Kimosabi creations. These quill earrings are made with his naturally shed quills, and I love being able to share a small piece of this extra special porcupine with you. You can find them for sale in our animal shop and all the proceeds go directly to Kimosabi's care, which includes his food and medical needs. I put a link in the description below. And now let's see what Kimosabi gets for his snack. He loves bananas and yams, so this head-to-head -head challenge will include both of his favorite foods. Here we have a dog puzzle toy with pieces of banana hidden inside. And over here we have a bucket of fresh yams that Kimosabi can't chew into because he only has one tooth. The yams are easier to get to, but he can't eat them. He can eat the bananas, but they're hidden. Which one do you think he'll go after first? As you watch Kimosabi eat his bananas, you might have noticed that he has one very long orange tooth. Kimosabi has had problems with his teeth since he came to us at two years old, and we discovered an infection in one of his top incisors, which need to be surgically removed. After that, we paid close attention to his teeth. And since porcupines are rodents with ever-growing teeth, this also meant we need to help keep the remaining teeth trimmed and healthy. He has one remaining tooth, which is still healthy, it's orange, but that's just the way it should be. Now what are you going to do, Bubba's? So with all of the licking and touching with both hands, we can confidently say that both the bananas and the yams get four points each. Kimosabi loves his yams, and don't worry, we will steam and mash them up so he can eat them later. Round five. Our next round includes two common household items, a laundry basket, in a pile of laundry. Will his curiosity be piqued more by the laundry or the laundry basket? Let's see. So Kimosabi went right for that laundry and I thought he was gonna be all up in it, but he just smelled it, so he gets one point. He definitely liked the laundry basket better. He touched it with both hands and he licked it, so it gets four points. And we've made it to our finale, round six. Kimosabi will judge two items that might not be so common to the average household, but they are well used around here. A cat running wheel and a unicorn rocker. Both of these items move when climbed on. Will that deter Kimosabi or will they be a fun challenge? Let's see. <laughs> Kimosabi definitely liked the cat running wheel. He touched it with one hand, he licked it, and then he almost climbed on it. So it definitely gets a full four points. Kimosabi didn't seem very interested in the unicorn rocker. He gave it a quick sniff and then moved away. So it gets just one point. So looking at our scoreboard, it looks like we have a five-way tie. Between the trophy, bananas, yams, basket, and wheel, Kimosabi loved them all which means that I would like to incorporate these items into Kimosabi's life more often. All right, let's let Kimosabi head home. It's always a fun challenge to make sure the animals we're caring for are getting new and exciting experiences. Kimosabi is just such a special guy, and I'm so glad that I get to share him with you. One thing that I find interesting is that while Kimo is super cute in person, 
it's really hard to draw him. So if you'd like to show your appreciation for Kimosabi, I'd love to see you try your hand at drawing or painting or creating some kind of Kimosabi fan art. You can send your creations to animalwondersmontana at gmail.com or you can also put them on Instagram, but be sure to tag us at animalwondersmontana if you do. I've put our email to Kimosabi art and the link to his quill earrings in the description below. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next week for more animal adventures.